after that. That was 10-year-old Jean-Paul Lancome Diaz. He was taken by his father, even though his dad presented the judge with a Mexican arrest warrant instead of custody papers, but it was in Spanish, and reportedly, allegedly, the judge didn't see the need to get it translated to verify it. And so he just went ahead with the idea the little kid is taken away from a school bus, taken away from his mom, and now nobody in the world except the dad knows where this child is. It is an outrage. And uh, apparently you are getting some help, Berenice, and we're talking to the mom from somebody who has some sense in that county, Bexar County DA Susan Reed. She's taken up your case. Um, let's listen first to her talk, and then we're going to get your reaction to the fact that somebody who has half a brain is helping you in that county. Let's listen to this DA. The officers are initially under responsibility to report any form of child abuse that they are aware. You have a child who is out crying. Common sense would be that the officers call Child Protective Services, and they didn't do that. Okay, so finally the DA Hallelujah for the DA that, that has got some smarts and is realizing this is an embarrassment. Uh, Mike in Pennsylvania, your question or thought? Yeah, um, I was a former police officer and working for the, for the courts. And uh, number one is when we got the court orders from the, uh, from the courts, you don't know what's in them court orders. They only say this is a writ of bodily attachment or pick up the person and take them in. The police officer has no latitude or discretion on the court order or he's held in contempt of court. Number two is that the lawyers that went before the judge, if they pulled something over the judge's eyes, then this should rest in their laps, whether whether it's true or it's not true. Mike, very good point. Uh, Yami, what's happening with the lawyers who represented this guy? How much were they reportedly paid? Uh, the, from what I understand in the paperwork that Mr. Lacombe was trying to get back $150,000 that he said had cost him to find her and legal fees. So anybody's guess at this point, but that's what was in the paperwork that it cost him $150,000. And also to ha answer his question, Right now, Susan Reed basically said, you know, it's up to the, the civil side now to decide what they want to do. Well, there was a, a hearing, a sanctioning hearing, and they decided that the attorneys okay. had done nothing wrong. Uh, Bernice, mm -hmm. Bernice, yes? was your child hit by your ex? Yes, he said that. You know, he said that several times. He said that to, the, to his uh, doctors because I had him here in a treatment with, with the doctors, very good, well known. And he said that several times, you know, that he, he hit him. So, so you can imagine how I feel. Verities, yeah. we're going to stay on top of your story. We're not going to let it go. I want you to come back day in and day out. It's an outrage. There must be an investigation into what happened in court. Thank you. You are watching Issues on HLN.